Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these white beaded starry earrings. They're easy to make and I'll show you step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're going to be able to make them by yourself. If you want to support me and see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button. In this way, you will be notified when I release matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself and you will be inspired often 2-3 times a week. You could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action and if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations and most of them I share on my community tab on YouTube so you could check it out and see uh, what you have done and what your fellow beaders have done there. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials, links where you could buy supplies from, link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are two colors of 11-0 seed beads, red and black. And here I use 8 beads in this beautiful creamy white color or beige color. And I need 24 of them. Here I use ear wires and this is monofilament that is 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters. You could use other beading thread of your choice. This is size 10 beading needle, scissors and pliers. The pliers not, are not obligatory, but uh, if you need to go through some difficult beads, you could use them anyway. Okay, and now I'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm back and I have my half an arm span of thread on my needle. And in my first step, I'm going to take four of these beautiful 8 beads. And what I do is that I slide those down I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making my knot by making here a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and pull and then I want to make one more knot okay pull again and now this is what I have and in my next step, I'm going through my following ato, just like this. And I'm taking one red bead, going through the following white, another red, go through the following, okay, and two more times. Okay guys, now I have this and in my next step I'm going through this red bead here. I will take four reds, okay, like this and I'm going through the following red one and pull. Then I, I want to take four more red beads, go through the following And I'm going to repeat this two more times. Okay, pay attention where I'm going in my last step. Now guys, what I do is that I go through two red beads in this direction. Take just one black bead and go here through the following two reds. Okay, this forms a small angle here. Then I'm taking one black bead, going through the following two. One black, go through the next two. one black at the inner angle here go through the next two 
and continue this until the end of this row. Okay guys, now this is what I have. Then I go here at this black one that I added in, in this row. And I need one black, one white and one black bead. And I'm going in the following black that's sticking out. And I'm going to repeat this black, eto, black, go here a black a nato and a black go in the next black and continue this until the end of this row Okay guys, and when I pull, I have this. Okay, and now I'm going through the black and my goal is to exit out of this white bead. And I'm taking a red, a black and a red. Here it is. And I'm going through the following white. And then again, a red, a black and a red go through the following white again a red a black and a red go through the next white okay guys and i will continue this off camera and when i'm up to here i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next pause this video do this and meet me Okay, and here I am at my last step and I'm going through this white bead here. And now I want to go through the following red. And I will take three red beads. Go here. Through the following red. Three. Skip the black and go through the following red and then if you can reach the next red one. Okay, again three red beads and exiting out of one of the reds, go through the other one and then through the white and through the following red. If you can do this in one movement. Then again three reds skip the black go through the following red and through the white and the red after that okay and now continue this off camera if you want pause this video and meet me in a while here okay guys and here i am at my last step of this row where i'm adding my last three beads you see and now in my next step, I want to go through these three beads in this direction, exiting out of this bead, the middle bead that's sticking out the most. And what I want to take after that are five black beads, taking five and go here in the middle one. You see here I have two beads and two beads and this is the middle one that's sticking out the most. Okay, then I'm going to take five more. Okay, five. And go in this angle bit that's sticking out the most, or the middle one of this last three that I added. Okay. I will show you one more time. Five. 
go here at the angle and I will continue this off camera pause this video and meet me here uh, to finish this row and show you the next one okay and here are the last five beads that I added from this row and what I want to do is go through this first black bead okay and take seven black beads okay I have here my seven beads you see then I skip this one two three beads and go through the last fifth beat so I'm going through the first and through the fifth okay then I skip this red one and go through the first only through the first black bead okay I take seven beads seven and I go in the last black one through the red and through the following black if you can do this in one movement to save time then I need seven again seven skip these three beads and go through the last fifth one okay and I think you get the idea finish this row and I'll meet you here to continue if you forgot how I did it just rewind this video from the beginning and repeat this until the end of this row okay see you in a while okay guys and these are my last seven beads that I'm adding in this row okay just like this and now what I do is that I go through four beads in this direction skip this middle one middle black bead here and go through three beads okay now when you pull this bead in the center in this direction you have an angle okay and how do you know this is the central one count one two three four beads from this side one two three four beads from this side so this means this is the central one okay now I'm exiting through this bead here one bead away from the center and I'm taking two red beads and I'm going in the same place one bead away from the center and I'm going through the next three beads okay adding two and going through three beads okay now I skip this one that's on my way and go through three beads and when I pull I have another angle okay then I take two red beads and as I'm exiting through this black that is one bead away from the red I'm going through the opposite black that is also one bead away from the red and I pull then skip the one that's on my way go through these three blacks skip the one that's on my way and go through the following three you see where I am okay through three black beads okay and I pull this one I pull to the outside edge take two reds like this exiting out of this one here one bit away from the red I'm going here in the other one that's one bit away from the red and add two red beads okay just like this then again skip the one that's on my way and go through three beads pull this out to make an angle when you pull okay and take two red beads as you exiting here one bead away from the red 
go one bead away from the red in your other element and three beads in this direction okay now guys i'm going to continue this off camera if you forgot how i did it rewind this video and repeat this from here and i'll meet you here to tell you how to finish your earring okay guys and i'm here where i'm adding the last two red beads from this row this is where i'm adding it here and i want to go through three black beads in this direction and through the following two red beads okay and then i want to continue some more in this direction because i want to exit here at these two red beads that are at one side of this central cross not here at this white bead diagonally but here at one side I like this better okay and then I'm going to take my ear wire and I'm going to take four red beads okay four my ear wire and I'm going back in circle through these two red beads okay then I'm going to reinforce this joint here. Okay, and I'm exiting here and what I want to do is make a knot and in order to do this I will find a suitable place for a knot. Okay, let's say here and I will make here a loop and i will go once and i will go second time through this loop i made i will make sure i'm between those two beads where i started my knot from then i'm going through two beads in this direction and i'm cutting my thread by the way you could repeat your knot several times and when you make the last knot go through the following one or two seed beads and then cut your thread and never cut next to a knot and with this guys my earring is ready okay guys and now my starry white beaded earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas and you could also like share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action and if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials please share them on my facebook page that i posted below this video i will be so happy to see your creations down there in the description you will find a full list of materials links where you could buy supplies from link to my store and link for paypal donations to develop this channel thank you so much for watching bye bye from me